Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I'm going to talk about the very high-end televisions and recently if you are following my channel you must have noticed that I had uh, posted a video about the Samsung QLED television and just last week I had also posted a video on the LG OLED television and these are very high-end televisions uh, respectively from Samsung. The Samsung's highest-end televisions are the QLED television and for LG they, these are the OLED television and yes these televisions are very expensive expensive couple of lakhs they cost and um, actually many of you were asking me what is the difference between these two televisions and now as I've used both of them let me actually talk about uh, the difference between both these technologies actually uh, you might mistaken uh, that the QLED is like OLED no but it's completely different first let's talk about OLED and uh, actually uh, LG uh, is the main manufacturers of OLED television in fact if you see even um, the Sony OLED televisions and others the actual TV panel of the OLED television is supplied by LG uh, whereas uh, on with the OLED first let's talk about the technology the OLED is organic a light emitting uh, emitting diode that means the pixels actually light themselves up that is why if you have looked uh, at my OLED TV video the TV is very thin because it doesn't need to have any backlighting the pixels actually uh, light up themselves when the current is supplied and due to that they can produce uh, infinite to black in fact I would say if you first watch a OLED television the blacks are mesmerizing it's just jet jet black uh, whereas on a, the Samsung QLED television first let's talk about it the Samsung QLED television stands for uh, the Q stands for quantum dot and it's actually LED LCD television actually it's a normal LED LCD television again a very high-end one but they have this quantum dot layer over there which actually enhances the color enhances the contrast to get that very vibrant look uh, so again essentially the Samsung QLED television is a still a very high-end what do you say uh, 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 LED television LED LCD television with this quantum light filter on that to produce vibrant color so it's not OLED technology like what LG is using so that's the big difference between these two uh, televisions now uh, another thing uh, to talk about talk about the picture quality and other things is that first let's talk about this uh, uh, again these are very expensive televisions. so yes both of these actually support the uh, white color gamut and high dynamic range that is HDR videos uh, but the LG actually supports uh, slightly more formats for example the LG also supports Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos which is actually uh, not uh, uh, enabled by Samsung. Samsung uh, does not uh, have Dolby Vision support uh, it has support for regular HDR HDR 10 and uh, Samsung has this something new thing called as HDR 10 plus which is similar to Dolby Vision but as of now it's not very popular the difference is that uh, if uh, what do you say manufacturers want to enable Dolby Vision or if they have to create uh, what do you say videos with Dolby Vision they have to pay a royalty to Dolby for that whereas this new format this regular HDR HDR 10 and the new one that uh, Samsung is supporting known as HDR 10 plus is an open platform that means these manufacturers don't need to uh, pay a royalty so again that is the thing as of now Samsung does not support Dolby Vision so that is one thing you have to be aware of uh, now going to the picture quality again I would say uh, if you keep uh, watch these television editions, uh, both of them produce spectacular picture quality very vibrant uh, pictures they actually pop out I would say in terms of brightness yes the Samsung is slightly more brighter than the LG OLED for example the LG OLED uh, highest brightness it can go around is about 800 to 850 nits whereas the Samsung uh, uh, QLED what I have the uh, Q7FN uh, that can go up to about 1500 nits so it can go very 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 bright uh, but even uh, in normal uh, watching situations the LG OLED that goes to about 800 to 850 nits is good enough and you might say uh, the Samsung is way better yes in brightness it can go a lot brighter but even for HDR 800 to 850 nits is more than enough so uh, again I would say if you have a very bright environment for example your TV is in a living room where there are a lot of open windows doors where light shines 
here I would say uh, the Samsung QLED would do better because if there is a lot of light in the room uh, shining from windows or doors that's falling on the television because the QLED is a lot brighter uh, it'll look slightly better whereas the OLED does a lot better when the lighting is a little bit controlled I would say uh, for example when I was testing the OLED I was just always uh, putting the curtain on the windows to get the best effect now uh, let's move to these specific two televisions that I had tested uh, where are the LG versus the Samsung's and these are some of the things that I have noticed I would say in terms of user interface both have very modern inter uh, user interface and they are smart television and support almost uh, everything that you have for example Bluetooth uh, uh, wireless uh, Wi-Fi uh, 5 gigahertz uh, gigabit Ethernet and everything that you can think about it is there but in terms of the actual user interface I would give the edge slightly to the LG the LG's user interface was more in, uh, intuitive because they have this remote that is known as yes it's a little bit bulky if you compare it with the Samsung's remote the Samsung remotes look a lot more sleeker uh, but again this they call it a magic remote and if you move around uh, the remote uh, the, it, uh, the pointer actually moves on the screen so it's very fast to navigate and also in terms of the UI layout uh, the web OS uh, UI layout that they call on LG uh, I feel is far more superior compared to Samsung it's not that you can't get things done with the Samsung but I noticed with the Samsung I had to uh, jump two three menus inside to go to a particular menu whereas on the LG it was a lot more faster uh, now moving to the remote again I would say I like the magic remote a little bit more though in terms of looks I would say the Samsung was uh, better uh, but this had that scrolling wheel and also it has dedicated buttons for Netflix Prime directly go to the settings whereas on the Samsung they went the other route for example minimalism as you can see very less buttons on the remote uh, so again you have to click three four uh, menus to go within a menu now mo moving to another important thing is regarding viewing angles if you are considering these two televisions uh, again in normal viewing situations both will be fine but let's say uh, you uh, have a television over here and uh, mostly people will sit in this area but if you some people sit in this corners like this then the OLED will be better because with the OLED television even if uh, people are sitting in the side uh, the viewing angle is very good the picture quality does not degrade but uh, with this QLED the viewing angles are good enough it is a lot better compared to most uh, regular televisions that we have uh, but if you compare it with OLED I would say the OLED definitely has better viewing angles compared to the QLED television so that is also one more important thing to note about now what is the biggest issue uh, that uh, might be there with OLED this is an important thing that you have to consider as I've mentioned OLED is a technology where the pixels light up themselves they don't have any backlighting so if a particular image is always there on a screen for example let's say you're watching uh, you mostly watch CNN and you have that big CNN logo here at the bottom and uh, if you just watch that continuously every day for hours and hours there can be an issue of screen burn and or screen retention for example let's say you just watched uh, this uh, particular one channel at the CNN for five hours continuously and then you move to another channel you will see that CNN logo uh, uh, visible when you move to the other channel this doesn't happen if you cha change the channels regularly but if you are sort of a person who just watches one particular channel this can be an issue and this is known as screen retention issue and this is there on OLED so if you're using an OLED television you have to be careful not to watch the same content for continuously for hours and hours and again for that respect I would say OLED televisions are also not good for very heavy gamers if you're sort of a casual gamer you game around half an hour 45 minutes it will be fine but if you are sort of sort of a hardcore gamer who plays the game continuously for five six hours then I would not recommend you the OLED because in many of the games for example the statistics etc will be there at the bottom for example uh, this is God of War this is on my Samsung QLED you see that the bottom stats are there these are always there so with the OLED if you play the game for about six seven hours continuously I would say you can have screen retention issues so that is the reason I would say if you are a very hardcore gamer then uh, OLED might not be a good uh, thing for example uh, with the QLED uh, uh, this is not an issue the screen retention issue is simply not there so you can play uh, the same game for continuously for hours and hours and you don't have to worry about screen retention or screen burn then so again uh, this is also a, this is I think so is one of the most important point between these two televisions uh, 
and now moving to the actual picture quality between these two televisions i would say uh, i like both these televisions very much uh, again but only when i put them side by side uh, then i notice a minute uh, difference i would say the lg uh, oled television produced slightly better picture quality particularly in very dark black situation for example uh, when we watch movies you have those two bars at the top and bottom with the oled television it was so black that i couldn't simply see it whereas on the qled sometimes only sometimes i would say minor time i noticed that the black bar was not jet black I, it happened only a few times but yeah so that that uh, in that case i would say if you watch a lot of movie content and etc and particularly if you can control the lighting in the room it's not a very bad, bright room so uh, if you have those kind of situation then the oled will produce slightly better pictures compared to the qled in terms of color vibrancy uh, what do you say saturation both are uh, going to wow you so don't uh, think that the oled produces dull colors or the qled produces dull colors very vibrant colors on both the televisions you don't have to worry about it it's only in the deepest of the deepest black i would say the oled has slight edge over the qled so that is the biggest difference between these two uh what do you say uh technologies for a lame user i would say image retention can be an issue if you watch the same content again and again uh with the oled television whereas that's not the case with the qled television but for the deepest blacks the oleds are definitely half an edge uh, but the good thing is that this uh, latest qleds for example the this generation of qleds from samsung uh the q7 uh, uh, the q7 fn what i purchased uh, samsung has added a layer over there so they call i forgot the technical name of that uh, some layer over there and due to that the blacks are actually really really black even on this qled uh, the earlier generation of qled sometimes had a blooming issue or something like that that was not present but yeah if, if for blacks is the most important jet blacks then yeah the oleds go ahead compared to the qled there's one more advantage that the LG one has, uh, as I mentioned, the LG also supports Dolby Atmos, whereas the Samsung does not support, uh, what do you say, uh, Dolby Atmos audio as of now. Uh, but uh, to be fair, the Samsung QLED television's audio was also very good. And in fact, in terms of bass, uh, the Samsung QLED television had slightly more bass compared to the LG one. So guys, these are the major differences between the OLED television and a QLED television. So again, end of the day, it will come down to your personal preference. It's not like one technology is better than the other. Again, it depends upon your viewing ha habits. I would say if you uh, mostly watch a lot of movies, uh, uh, movie content, uh, high quality content and stuff, then I would say, and your room lighting is controlled. There's not a lot of, what do you say, doors, windows, uh, where you're watching television, then the OLED television might be better for you but if you uh, if your room is very bright there are windows that constantly shine light on your television and you play a lot of games then i would say the qlet might be better for you again guys do uh, let me know if you have any other specific questions regarding these uh, televisions in the youtube comment section below i'll be more than happy to answer them and one more thing that i've noticed is that these uh, both the oled and qled televisions are very expensive televisions again they, these are the top of the line televisions from lg and samsung uh, so they are very expensive but one thing that I've noticed is that uh, if you opt for the one year prior version for example currently the 2018 uh, models have come in the market uh, but if you go with the 2017 model you can get a hefty discount for example the LG 55 inch uh, uh, OLED television is around 260,000 for the 55 inch model uh, but if you offer the two, 2017 model the price is going down as low as around 150,000 so as you can see huge price difference so again that is also something that you guys need to note but again if you are going for a QLED television uh, be a little bit careful if you are going uh, for a 2017 model because uh, Samsung has greatly improved the blacks in the 2018 version with the Q7F uh, 8 and the 9. So again, be aware of that. That extra filter that they have added is only in the 2018 model. So guys, the, that's it for now for this video between the QLED and the OLED television. I hope you guys uh, find this uh, video helpful. So guys, that's it for now. And if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.